If you've even glanced at the news this week, you'll know that Venezuela is in deep crisis right now. Inflation is up over 1 million percent, meaning folks can't even afford basic products like toilet paper and medicines. Nearly 2 million have reportedly fled to neighboring countries. Bizarrely, the opposition leader, Juan Guaido, declared himself the interim president based on the disputed claim that sitting president, Nicolas Maduro, has held a sham election. The United States responded by recognizing Guaido as the legitimate president of Venezuela. Trump is now calling for Maduro to step down, which isn't likely to happen anytime soon, given that he has the support of the military, meaning the only way they're likely to oust Maduro would be to organize a military intervention. Every option is on the table with respect to Venezuela. It's important to remember a few things here. This is a flagrant violation of international law. Both the UN Charter and the Organization of Americas say no state or group of states has the right to intervene directly or indirectly for any reason whatsoever in the internal or external affairs of any other state. Venezuela is highly polarized and significant support exists on both sides, those supporting the Maduro government and those backing the opposition. In fact, it's so polarized that violence has erupted on the streets of Caracas, where some have died. So for the West to call for a coup, which is what the rhetoric sounds like, is dangerous. And lastly, we need to be a bit more discerning about the underlining motivations here. Venezuela has the largest oil reserves on Earth. Concern for Maduro's admittedly disastrous policies masks commercial interests. And the administration spearheading the calls for regime change is drawing on the expertise of people like Elliot Abrams, a man who advised the military dictatorships of Argentina and Guatemala in perception management when they oversaw death squads to purge thousands of innocents.